Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started with the subject of this video, I want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks is a company that provides upgrade decals for modern Transformer figures along with reproduction decals for the vintage ones. While visiting Toy Hacks, make sure and check out the Toy Hacks Armory to see their line of Transformers weaponry in multiple colors and toy stages for awesome display backdrops. Each purchase from Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that you can use for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors, so make sure and check out ToyHacks.com and tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is the Tabo Star Command Interstellar KO Siege Nemesis Prime. And I gotta give a huge shout out to Kevin, a Patriot Prime review subscriber, who lent me this figure, along with quite a few others, to review for the channel. So Kevin, thank you so much. So first off, let's take a quick look at the packaging. You've got Tabo up here. I'm assuming that's what it is because it looks like a T lightning bolt, A-B-O, Interstellar, Star Command, and you've got what looks like Ultra Magnus without his armor here on the front. Interstellar, Star Command, Interstellar there on the side. Look at that backwards, there we go, Interstellar right there. And on the back of the packaging is all the different versions of Jumbo KO figures. We've got Siege Prime, Siege Nemesis, and Siege Megatron. Siege Nemesis Prime is what's in this box. So now, without further ado, let's get Nemesis Prime out of this box and have him dark our lightest hour. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Nemesis all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions, and it shows Optimus instead of Nemesis, but it's the same figure with the same transformation. He also comes with his axe that the Siege Prime came with, and that's it. He didn't come with any other weapons, just the axe, and the axe looks really good. I like the translucent plastic. That is awesome. And then, of course, you've got nemesis himself now this is a jumbo version of the nemesis prime that we got as a walmart exclusive it was part of the spoiler pack but my god what a size difference that is awesome and this guy is heavy too i mean he is a very well-built figure so let's go ahead and move little nemesis out of the way take a closer look at this guy Taking a close look at the head sculpt first. Looks great. He's got the evil painted eyes, the turquoise right there, the crest. You got the clear plastic with all the circuitry details there on the inside. Open it up. No matrix. I am thinking Earthrise has the matrix. The Siege version did not actually. Did this one come with a dark matrix? I can't remember. No, he did not. Just a toy hacks matrix so yeah sticking with the siege theme no matrix and as you're hearing ratchet joints i adore ratchet joints so he's got ratchet shoulders no ratchet bicep ratchet thighs no ratchet knees but still any ratchet is a good ratchet great paint applications all the way around i love the turquoise, the turquoise there on the wheel. Now that is a detail that Little Nemesis doesn't have, doesn't have the turquoise wheels, which looks great on this guy. Get back over there. So yeah, this is a really cool figure. I, I dig it, this guy is awesome. And another thing I noticed with the giant jumbo Nemesis, let's bring in 
the little guy again and we'll take off the side mounted arm guns is right here if you recall the siege prime figures had these flaps right there that was for the headlights in truck mode that kind of hung off the forearms jumbo nemesis does not those have been removed and is now part of the backpack so i'm really curious to see how that works in transformation and of course like i said the only weapon he came with was this giant battle axe which looks really good in his hands now i do have this giant jumbo optimus prime ion blaster that came with the oh what was it the centurion drone pack that was way too big for optimus prime but would work perfect in the hands of nemesis if it had a thicker handle i mean as you can see that actually that looks pretty good but it just fits in the hands way too loose so now let's go ahead and get nemesis prime transformed into truck mode okay now for transformation we've all seen how the siege optimus prime mold transforms but i want to show you the major difference with this ko jumbo version first off if you remember the siege version had this big backpack that went along the back that you had to rotate around you flipped all this stuff out and unpegged which all this in turn becomes the front of the vehicle with the new or the jumbo nemesis rather it's not all one piece you actually unfold these sections out then rotate around fold all of this out and unfold just like the regular version except this time you also have the wheel wells built in so that is pretty slick now we'll go ahead and finish the transformation with the older version or the hasbro version flip the head down let's see bring this down here bear with me it's been a while let's see let's go ahead and move the arms back push these in get these out because these sections underneath the arms they formed the wheel wells and this is the part that everyone hated with the siege prime mold was they did not like those sections hanging in under the arms so let me get all this in here and now we have hasbro siege nemesis prime transformed into truck mode and like i showed these sections right here those are underneath the arms so now we're going to bring in Jumbo Nemesis. Let me go ahead and open his chest up. Rotate the head down. We're going to bring this section up, just like the other version. And let's go ahead and get the arms back. And now the fists are going to fold right in here, or the whole arm section. And there's a little flap right there, just like on the other one. Get everything back, flip this up, and now, let's see, get that window open. We're going to bring this section down and try to manipulate that around here. It's getting stuck. I'm trying to do this. <laughs> with my arms outstretched because I really don't have too much room in front of the camera. So what am I missing here? Oh, this little section right, oh, that's cool, that's different. So that folds up to fill in the window slots. That's pretty slick. I still need to figure out how to get this around. There we go. So yeah, this whole front assembly is different and i think that is awesome let me get this side to line up so there we go get those windows shut and as you saw everything just clicked right into place and that is awesome i wish hasbro thought of that that way you wouldn't have those lights hanging off the forearms and this thing looks sweet love the paint applications right there for the side windows with the original 
I had to use toy hex decals. So let's take a look at these two together. Big size difference once again. I absolutely love the turquoise on the jumbo version's wheels. The fronts look pretty much the same, except you do have these extra clips right in there for the back. But I absolutely love that whole front truck transformation for the jumbo version. It works really, really good. Also a big difference, look here on this side right here where the gas tank is. That's all chrome compared to Hasbro's, which is the black plastic. Now, of course, you also have his Nemesis axe that you can just simply fold the blades in, fold the handle in, and then you can just attach this. Let's see, just hang it off the back somewhere, and there you go. Jumbo Nemesis Prime in truck mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is the Star Command Interstellar Jumbo Siege Nemesis Prime with Power of the Primes Nemesis Prime, War for Cybertron Netflix Nemesis Prime, and Kingdom Nemesis Primal. Once again, I am thoroughly impressed with the quality of one of these KO jumbo sized figures. Plus, I have to give them credit for the ingenuity in figuring out how to get rid of some of the issues that I had with the Siege versions. So all in all, this is a really cool figure and a must-have if you're a Nemesis Prime fan. My only real complaint with the figure is he didn't come with any more weaponry. Now, I will state again that I know a lot of collectors do have issues with KOs, so there will be no link to where you can find this figure, but hey, you've got Google. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!